Hi Aquarius, welcome into your reading. Welcome in, welcome in. Um, I hope you guys can hear me now. Uh, I did get a new mic. Uh, somebody from the Aries channel was uh, kind enough to pay apparently for the whole entire collective to get a new mic. So there it is. <laughs> All right, so let's see. The latter half of May, what's going on with my Aquarius? What's the situation for my Aquarius, please? For the latter half of May, please. And please do let me know how the sound is. All right, let's see what's going on here for you guys. Three of Cups in reverse, Six of Cups in reverse, and Ten of Pentacles. Some of you could be possibly rejecting a third-party situation in lieu of a commitment you already have or a marriage that you have. Um, some of you guys, and it can be flipped. Um, we'll see when we clarify. But right now, the situation I'm looking at there is no more third party situation and you are turning your back on the past, whatever had happened. And this did affect a commitment or a marriage. Page of Wands in reverse. Oh God, what's going on here, guys? All right, let's continue. Um, what's coming towards my Aquarius, please? What's coming towards Aquarius? Page of Wands. All right, so now you guys are beginning to embark on your journey, on your path forward. I do have to say this, though. It's not like you're kind of crying over spilled milk. You're definitely not doing that. You're actually excited about the future. Let me see what else is going on. You're trying to manifest a new relationship or some sort of happiness uh, for yourself. Interesting. I have the Magician and Emperor, which is Aries energy and Taurus energy. I have two Aries energies here, the Emperor and the Page of Wands and the Ten of Cups. You're trying to manifest some sort of happy environment here, possibly potentially with a Taurus or an Aries. It does not have to be. These are just energies of people that have some form of stability, have power, have control, a slight authoritarian, well, very little, not a lot, but in a positive way, if that makes any kind of sense. But you're curious, too, and you're excited. So I feel like someone's on your path or someone's coming onto your path in the near future. And this is definitely something you're manifesting, Aquarius. You're curious and you're excited about it. The curious card, this is what I'm talking about. You just graduated college. You got the world at the palm of your hands and a whole entire future to make of what you will. It is the same energy. It is the same feeling that you're having here with this individual. And it feels mutual. So it's not just one-sided. And if this isn't just a particular person in regards to romance, this is your environment, the people that you're dealing with, the people you're hanging out with, the people you work with. Um, it seems to be happy all the way around. What doesn't um, Aquarius see coming? Ten of Wands, ooh, Knight of Wands, and Death. All right, so something here that was exhausting you, um, that was a big burden, it could have been in regards to something that was an affair or a fling, something that was in and out. Uh, it's over. It's coming to an end. Death. Something is transitioning. I don't know if this fling is just over and it's transitioning into something else or it's just over. Uh, we'll see when we clarify, but... This energy, this Knight of Wands, this is in and out. This is flaky. This is like a fling. And it was causing a big burden. It's now over. It's done. Yep, the devil in reverse. Whatever that shit was, it was toxic. And it was something in regards to a lover. You're noticing your worth and your value as the Empress. But you did get rid of something that was toxic for you. All right, let's see what the advice is here for you, Aquarius. a lot of cards but let me see if they make sense who holy shit yeah i will keep it because these are a lot of court cards in your advice 
for me, when I see a lot of court cards, that means there's a lot of people involved in your situation, in your scenario, more than one. It is you, it is your person, it is your lover, it is your partner, it is your friends, it is your family. Everyone's weighing in on this shit. <laughs> Let me explain. You have two kings. So, my friend, I definitely know that you're sitting here dealing with two different individuals. One represents stability, while the other one represents love and passion. You're sitting here right in the middle as the Queen of Wands, but the Queen of Wands, make no mistake, is third party. This is the mister. This is the mistress. This is the kept person. And you're smack dab between the two of the three of you. So, you see this three, this, uh, three of cups in reverse? This is third party situation, but this is like getting rid of it, okay? Here's your three people. Here are your three cups. The higher font and the two of wands. Do I go towards a marriage and a commitment or do I go my separate ways and just go have fun? Do I do stability or do I do love? You have to make a choice. Let me show you how mind blowing this is. And this is all in your advice position, Aquarius. If this isn't your storyline, this ain't your story. All right, so. Of course, please apply it to your, your not just your love lives, but this could be at work, your career, etc., your family, you know. You're discerning adults, you place where it belongs. I'm just speaking to a large audience. It's not a one-on-one. -on -one. If it was, it would be very more specific for me to you. Anyway, here you are, right? Do you see this clearly? You're sitting there blindfolded. On one side of the sword is a king of pentacles. This king of pentacles represents somebody who has their shit together financially, mentally, emotionally. They're just put together. On the other side of the sword is this king of cups. The king of cups is somebody who's emotionally available. Somebody who um, is emotionally mature. They can have the tough conversation. They can say the I love you's and not run away. They can even handle you not saying the I love you's and still be there. This is you torn right in the middle of both these individuals. Do, do, do. Here you are also engaging possibly potentially in a third party situation. For me, the queen of wands is a mistress. Unless I'm reading for a fire sign. Unless you're an Aries or you're a Sagittarius or you're a Leo, this would be you. But if this is not, I'm reading for an Aquarius. This is you. And on the other side of it is the Hierophant, which represents commitment, which represents marriage, which represents institution. You are torn between which of the two to do, which way to go. Even if you're not even involved with somebody right now, A, someone is definitely coming, or B, this is involving somebody you had dealt with in the past for a fact, because the Six of Cups is here and it's in reverse. So you could have just turned your back to the past. It does not matter. It is all about you. It is your subconscious coming forward. And we do have Sagittarius full moon right now. Sagittarius full moon is forcing us to think about our desires, our wishes, our wants. Whatever's in our subconscious is coming to the forefront. And when Mercury goes direct next week, you're going to be pushing through. You're going to be coming out at the other end of the tunnel. And you're going to be saying, I know my path forward. But here you are torn right now, trying to make that decision. And spirit is trying to coach you into making that decision. The best way you could do this is the Knight of Pentacles. Two steps forward. If you got to take one step back, do it. Just move slowly towards the thing that you want. Methodically, cautiously. And if you see it's the wrong move, you take a step back. But you're moving slowly. It's not like you're rushing. That's the advice. All right, let's continue and see what the outcome is. Outcome, please. You have a lot of cards, dude. First of all, holy shit. This outcome is amazing. First of all, here's your card, right? The star. This is you. This is the Aquarius card. This is you being hopeful and positive, and you're trying to go towards your wish fulfillment, your own personal desires. But they're coming to fruition. Let's see when we clarify why the Ace of Cups is here, because the Ace of Cups represents a fresh new start in love. This is either a new individual or a fresh new start 
within something that you love to do career-wise or an actual person in a relationship. What I do like is the devil in reverse at the bottom of the deck. It's getting rid of codependency. It's getting rid of obsession. It's getting rid of something toxic. Even if that's some shit that you say to yourself in your head, I'm not good enough. I'm not worthy. I'm not this. I'm not that. Hey God, Aquarius, you're not one of those individuals. You get over that shit quite quickly. And this is exactly what I'm seeing here. So let's go ahead and start clarifying all of these, which means, hmm, let me use this deck. Which meant I had to get up and I didn't want to get up. Ooh, there's like dust on this. Weird. Inside the can, too. All right, Universe Angel Spirit Guys, what's going on here for Aquarius, please? One more shuffle. Why is the Three of Cups here in reverse and the Six of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles? I suspect this is why you're also confused as to making a choice because you're reconsidering your past. This is what Mercury Retrograde is going to do to you, FYI. Mercury Retrograde is going to force you to think about things from your past, even though you've dealt with it already, even though you put it aside. The queen of pentacles in reverse yeah you're trying to nurture yourself right now you're trying to take care of you and i get it because for me there's a couple nines here so a, a lot of these things are telling me you're reflecting upon yourself you are you are looking at your personal desires wants dreams and whatever what have you because in the upright position the queen of pentacles is somebody Who's nurturing, who's loving, who's kind, who's caring, takes care of everybody except themselves. In the reverse, you're looking at yourself right now. You're trying to see what's right for you. You are taking care of you. Yeah, and you're remaining focused on that agenda also with the chariot back here. So, very interesting. Let's continue. Ironically, the Queen of Pentacles for me is also the Mama card, something to do with a mother, taking care of your mother, you being a mother, a single mother. And uh, today, if you're watching this video, I happen to have done it on Mother's Day. So happy Mother's Day for those of you who are watching and listening. All right, Ten of Cups. Well, that wanted to come out in reverse. And the Magician and the Emperor. And the Page of Wands, Prince of Wands, damn. And the Nine of Swords in reverse. This is a this is something where I feel like you're dealing with somebody where the energy is sort of mutual. I think that there's somebody rushing in towards you that could be an Aries, can be a Taurus, it doesn't matter. These are just energies of somebody very passionate, someone you have a lot of chemistry with. Um, and you're no longer stressing over them. Or you're also no longer stressing over the uh, fling affair. But it's not exactly... Um, how do I explain this? It's not exactly full on. It's not a full on relationship. It's not anything. It's just like a fling. It's like something in and out. But you both make each other very, very happy. So it's not like there's any kind of commitment here because at the bottom of the deck is the Six of Pentacles where the Six of Pentacles for me talks about breadcrumbs, uh, wanting more. Um, those of you Aquarius that had an affair or a fling and this person is no more, I don't know why I feel like they could be more or they're coming in or you have this new person, this new energy coming in. It is definitely not your old commitment. That's what I'm vibing here. Um, let me see what the surprise is here with death, knight of wands, and ten of wands. This I'm really curious about. Six of cups. That's the past. Hangman, feeling stuck because of the past. And the seven of wands in reverse. You're not letting the past hold you back anymore. Yeah, you're definitely moving forward. 
uh, this is why you have death. Because that thing that was burdening you, that thing that was challenging you, it's off your chest. It's off your plate. You're done with it now. You are having some sort of in and out um, fling thing. And if, you, if you're not, you are. And you're like, you're internally saying, you know what? Fuck it. I don't care. I'm happy. Truly. I don't really give a shit. I'm happy. I'm going to take care of me for once. You're like, I'm not even going to bother resisting this. So the past was holding me back. It was keeping me stuck. I'm just going to move forward with my life. Whatever happens, happens. I don't care. You're like, you're, you're saying things like, I broke those fucking dishes. I'm not gluing them back together again. It's over. It's done. <laughs> um, I'm just going to get a new set of plates. And then this is sort of what's happening. But you're torn. You're even thinking about, like, if you should go back. Again, I told you, this is Mercury Retrograde. Mercury Retrograde is going to do this to you. What's the higher font? The Queen of Wands, the, the King of Cups, and the King of Pentacles. All these court cards and the Two of Swords. In the advice position. Too many, Spirit. Wow. I'm going to say this and cross watchers. I'm really sorry. So I'm just going to rip off the bandaid and just say it as I see it. Um, the Empress and justice. I'm not really a sugar coater type of reader. So <laughs> be prepared. <laughs> justice talks about divorce. It talks about writing the scales of balance in karma. Uh, sometimes it could even talk about marriage. It does not tell me. Justice never tells you if it's good or bad. I can only presume it's it's good for you only, and this is only because it's in the upright position. So the scales are writing themselves out here. So if something bad was done to you, Aquarius, something good is coming in. This is karma. You do good, you get good. You do bad, you get bad. And that's what it is. And the Empress. So for me... I feel like for you, Aquarius, and this is the part I was hesitant to speak about or talk on. Um, of course, you, the roles can be flipped. I just feel like for you, you, you were dealing with something that was not at your value, not at your worth, and uh, not at all. And now you are. You're looking at something where you're moving forward in life with something that matches your energy, matches your vibration, matches your level. You know, you're an intelligent being. You're very cerebral and intelligent and smart. Um, and you're always the more of that pioneering energy. And this is why you have the emperor here. Because emperors are leaders. They lead the way. And we are coming into a massive age of Aquarius. Even it has already begun. But it's going to be huge. It's not going to stop. It's going to be ever evolving. And you're going to be at the forefront of this energy. This is just the beginning. This is just the tip of the iceberg for you. So these energies are starting to slowly come out of you, Aquarius, and you're noticing it now. You're acknowledging it. Someone has not been evolving with you. You've been growing and they have not been growing with you. The Empress and the Emperor are the top dogs of all the land. The Kings and the Queens report to the Emperor and the Empress. Do you understand? There is somebody here that you could potentially be a power couple with. The Emperor and the Empress, all right? And scales are being righted. Scales are being course corrected. This is all following your advice. You know it somewhere in your heart of soul, deep down inside, that somebody's not at your worth and at your value or at your level while someone else is. And if neither in your environment are at your worth and your value and your level right now, you're just going to keep moving on, all right? Because there's something here that it, it's not matching your energy. So spirits, like, you do have to make a decision, but you have to remind yourself of who you are, Aquarius. You need to find matching energies. You know your worth and your value. You know you're an empress. What does an empress do? She brings things into this world, she, and I say she meaning whether you're male or female or whatever your pronoun is, that is you. That is your value. That is your worth. You bring things into this world. 
You want a legacy? Boom, you got it. Whether that's a child, a family, a relationship, a business, a company, whatever. You make things into your 3D reality. All right? And you move. You're evolving creature. And you need somebody to evolve with you or you're going to stagnate. Okay? So this is what it's talking about. The scales of your life are being course corrected. And you need to decide if what side is the right side for you. Okay? Holy shit. I have chills right now. Two of swords. Because this is clarifying this. Two of swords, two of swords. My cards are doubling down. This is why I use two different decks, guys. Because spirits got my back and they're saying, yeah, the reader's correct. I'm doubling down the cards. So this is the storyline for this person. I, I have no doubt. And if this is not your story, it's not your story. It can be, though, because these are all in the future positions. You're definitely going to be torn over a decision of some kind, a path of some kind. All right, let's see the outcome. The star, the nine of cups, and the ace of cups. Of course, this could also be your job, your career, your partnerships. King of pentacles, wow. And the moon in reverse. Do we have a winner here? Who's the king of pentacles? Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus energy. That's the stable person. That's the person who has money. This is the person who has their shit together. Something gets revealed by this individual. I don't know if they were hiding things about you, meaning how they felt about you. I don't know if they were keeping secrets behind you. I don't, it gets fucking revealed. This is the one I think you end up with. The stable person. Wow. Death, rebirth. You are going to move forward. Instability here with someone. That's what the King of Pentacles represents. Anything else for the outcome? Actually, who's the Ace of Cups? Will you be willing to tell me, Spirit? Or is this for next week's reading? Three of Pentacles and the Eight of Cups. This is walking away from somebody that you were collaborating with or third-party energy. That's your fresh new start in love. That person. That's how you'll know who it is. The magician. You've been trying to manifest them back into your life or manifest new love and it's here. All right. So let's see what the romance angels have to say. What do you see here, spirits? Oracles, actually. Archangel Michael Raphael Samuel. What do you guys see here? Release your ex. Deception. Some of you could be self-deceiving yourselves or you're being deceived by your ex. Either way, it's saying, re release your ex. I, it cannot be more straightforward, guys. I'm going to take that because it flipped out. I take flippers. Who's the Ace of Cups? Or what is the Ace of Cups? It's in reverse. This means not yet, not quite, but yet. Yes. Solitude. Some of you guys could be forcing yourself in a self-imposed timeout, like self-solitude. You don't need to be there. But anyway. Divine timing. Patience. <clears throat> Perseverance. Peace. Trust that the divine knows when. So not just yet, but it's coming. This fresh new start in love. I just wanted to know specifically what that was. And uh, observe. Social media, fascination, curiosity, watching from a distance. Remember when we had the Knight of Pentacles and I was saying go slowly, go methodically. That's part of your, go cautiously. That's part of your advice. It's the same thing here. Just observe what people, not what they say, but what they do. It talks a lot about their character. All right, I'm going to get one last card of advice from the Wisdom House of Night as far as your advice is concerned. And then, and I tend to find these to be pretty spot on. Wisdom House of Night. Tell me. When I first bought these cards, I was a little skeptical, but then I saw it was from Colette Baron Reed, and I really love, love everything. That's done by this T 
team here. Oh, I love this card. Oath. You know what the oath makes me feel like? The oath to me is the Empress. That's who the oath is. That's, you'll see in a minute when I read this to you, because I really want you to listen to the advice here with this. Because it always ties back to the advice and it always makes sense. My lovely child, you have chosen the symbol for oath. This is the symbol for all promises and it is a reminder to keep the one that you had made. An oath is never made lightly nor in jest. Promises are meant to be honored. When you choose this symbol, perhaps it's a time you look at how you have made your promises, how you made them. And this is why you also got justice because justice balances the scales. Look at how you've made those promises. Have you crossed your fingers behind your back, relinquishing the magic that binds your oath? Has anyone broken his or her promise to you? Let the person go. You don't hold on if someone refuses to be honorable. You don't want this person in your life. For now, the most important promise you can make is to yourself. Promise to be kind, loving, honorable, and good. Do no harm. To belong to me, you keep that promise. Even if you are stepping out, if you are honest and honorable, you can move on and out. And this is also an oath to yourself, to do the honorable thing for yourself. All right, guys, this is what I have for you. Um, please leave me your comments down below. I read everything. Uh, and it also helps the channel. So with that said, I'll see you guys next Sunday.